When he breaks Jake Paul's jab, he has all the success. It is all Nate Diaz, but when Jake is allowed to punctuate everything with a jab, and then the right hand behind it, that is where Jake is having that, that success on the outside and then it being able to move out. Look at the punches here from round number eight. Nate, more effective than any other round we've seen him in. Yeah, he was busy. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to get close. Nice left hand. It's a good left hook from Jake Paul. Nice sickening right to the body again. He just eats those up, Nate Diaz. And Jake again, looking to that lead hand to try to pivot out on his bike here. Nate comes forward. Nice uppercut. Needs to keep working. He's enjoying this. And Nate's frustrated. He said he won't fight me. Watch him pivot out. He won't fight me. Look, look at Nate. Bouncing on the toes. Classic Nate Diaz. But you got to follow up here as well. Some short shots there inside in the clinch. Jake Paul shoves him away. Last 30 seconds here, round nine. Stiff right hand down the pipe. Yeah, good shot. The left uppercut, followed by the right hook upstairs. Good pressure from Matt Diaz. Working with back comes Jake Paul with two shots of his own. Oh, right hand from Jake. And he slides away. Nate walks into another right hand. And here comes the flurry from Nate Diaz. Another round where he's finished strong. And this has become a dog fight. From round three on, technique be damned. Both guys are sitting in and throwing power. Just over a minute, let's go. Big finish. Oh, there we go, goodness. there we go. Nate throwing a flurry coming forward here. Nate Diaz walking forward, trying to make a statement in this last little bit here. Jake has got to solidify this 10th round because after that, after that drop from Nate earlier in the fight, this thing has been back and forth through the entirety since. Jake Paul just get behind the jab, throw the double jab, skip it to his left. He needs to sustain this attack. Nate Diaz needs to get back. We talked about it when this fight was in its inception. Who's going to want this more? Does Nate Diaz truly still want to fight? Oh, big time big uppercut. Run, uppercut. Jake is trying to fight for legacy. For the people that said he couldn't, Nate looks to lock up the guillotine there. He shows the gloves to the crowd, but there's still 10 seconds. Bring it home, boys. Bring it home. And there it is. The 10th and final round comes to a close, folks. We're going to a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of Ringside, David Yakabuchi scores about 97 to 92. Judges David Sutherland and Chris Migliori both score about 98 to 91. All three in favor of the winner, the problem child, Jay. Oh!